Hey everyone, welcome to this new Touch Designer Quick Tip. It's been a long time since the previous one, so I wanted to make a new one using again some compositing uh, technique with the, the tops. And it's also a nice add-on uh, add to the previous one uh, that we did last time. So just to show you what I'm talking about, today we'll be looking at how to create this uh, highlight effect. Uh, just to show you in the image before using uh, the effect, the image doesn't move. So we're just creating this, creating this highlight with um, this new technique. Uh, you could use it on another shape, for example. This is a simple render, but as you can see, there's some highlight changes and the uh, light doesn't move uh, right here. So it's a very uh, neat trick that you could use uh, for some live uh, installation and it doesn't use uh, too much of the computer power but uh, you can create nice effects of uh, light movement that you can't do uh, otherwise. And here's the example with the two effects together. So this is the a combination of uh, this tutorial and the previous one. So just to give you an idea of what you can do. All right, so uh, first thing, again, just to show you uh, what I'm talking about, here's uh, another sketch I did where you uh, can see that the change in light of the, these, uh, these elements is all created using the same effect. And let's create our empty project. Uh, let's just delete all these elements. I'm going to do it only with the uh, circle, just to show you. Uh, and then you can, of course, play with this tutorial and the other I created to uh, create your own effects. So I just created a null. And the next thing I'm going to use is a composite. Here you go. And a noise and oh yeah just I use P to show or hide the parameters so uh, as you can see the composite is in the multiply effect uh, this is what I want to keep uh, then for the noise I'm just going to change a few parameters uh, to match uh, those of the element there so the resolution and the pixel format. And the next thing I'm going to do is change uh, a few parameters uh, to animate it. So just before changing it there, I'm going to transform, add a little animation, uh, use seconds divided by 10. Here you can see uh, the animation of the noise. And finally, I'm going to change the period uh, to something larger so we can see the uh, highlights are uh, a bit large, uh, larger here. Uh, change the harmonics to get a smoother uh, transition between the dark and, uh, and the light part. And finally, I'm going to use uh, to add a little more amplitude right here. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is add another composite right there. And instead of multiply, we're going to use add. What the add is doing is simply creating um, uh, the final image with the addition of the two previous one. So you add the values of the two pixels and you get this uh, image in the end. So that's it. This is uh, how you create the effect. If you want to see when I change the element uh, for the torus, uh, here you go. You can see changes uh, in the highlights. I don't know if the YouTube compression is going to show them uh, as good as I can see them uh, on, my on my screen, but uh, it's a very simple trick and doesn't use too much uh, of your CPU or GPU power. So as I said before, very uh, neat when
when you're going to do some uh, live uh, creations. And that's it. That's it for this quick tip. I hope you liked uh, the video. Uh, let me know in the comment if it was useful. And if you want to see more of uh, these compositing quick tips or quick tips on other subjects in Touch Designer. And see you in the next one.